This video will illustrate how to multiply radicals. When you have root 5 times root 2, you can combine them into a single term just by multiplying the contents of the two radicals. Root 5 times root 2 is equal to the square root of 5 times 2, which is the square root of 10. Root 7 times root 6 is therefore the square root of 7 times 6, which is the square root of 42. We cannot simplify this further because 42 does not have any factors that are a square. Root 3 times root 15 is the square root of 3 times 15, which is the square root of 45. And 45 does have a factor which is a square, which is 9. So we break it into 9 times 5. The square root of 9, 3, comes outside of the radical and the 5 is trapped inside. Root 10 times root 6 is equal to the square root of 10 times 6, which is the square root of 60. 60 also has a factor which is a square, which is 4. So we break it into 4 times 15. The square root of 4 comes outside, that's the 2, and the 15 is trapped on the inside. Here we have the square root of 10 times the square root of 15. That gives us the square root of 10 times 15, which is the square root of 150. 150 has a factor that is a square, which is 25, so we break it into 25 times 6. The square root of 25 is 5, that comes outside, and the 6 is trapped on the inside. Here we have three terms root 6 times root 10 times root 21. That will give us the square root of 6 times 10 times 21, which is the square root of 1260. I don't have to find the biggest factor of 1260 that is a square. It's a large number. It's enough to find a factor that is a square. And I can see that 4 will be a factor of 1260. I'll break it into 4 times 315. Then the square root of 4, 2 comes out, and the 315 is trapped within. And 315 also has a factor that is a square. It has a factor of 9. So I'll break it into 2 root, 9 times 35. Then the square root of 9, 3, comes to the outside, so I have 2 times 3 square root of 35, which is 6 root 35. That one's finished. In example G, I have a numerical coefficient before the radical this time. What you do here is you multiply the numerical coefficients. 2 times 1 equals 2. And you multiply the contents of the radical separately. So we have 2 times 1 radical 3 times 5. 2 times 1 is 2, of course, and we have radical 15. This cannot be simplified further, so that one's finished. Here we have 7 times 6, so we write 7 times 6, and root 3 times root 5, 3 times 5, which gives 42 root 15. Here we have 3 times 2, radical of 14 times 7, 3 times 2 is 6, and 14 times 7 is 98. So we have 6 root 98. 98 has a factor that is a square, which is 49. So we have 6 root 49 times 2, which is 6 times 7. Square root of 49 is 7. That comes outside. Root 2. The final answer is 42 root 2. This is how you multiply radicals.